Welcome back to my channel. Since it's winter and it's important to take care of our skin, I decided to do a skincare uh, related video. And I'm going to talk to you about hand creams. And I have a few with me here, like four. I know that four might seem a very big number, but some of them were a gift and they're very dear to me. So yes, of course I'm using them. And let's get started with the first one. Uh, it's my favorite from Nivea. It's uh, Express Hydration for normal to dry skin and it has sea minerals apparently. It's a very good hand cream. I use it usually uh, during the night because during the night it's uh, preferably to apply hand cream because like we don't do anything with our hands. so. It uh, will get absorbed and, and uh, it will hydrate the skin properly. So this is why I use it mostly during the night and sometimes during the day too. If I have a lot to do like water the plants or do the dishes and I'm using water a lot and that dries my hands so I use this too. And the next one is the one that uh, I received as a gift from Yanolia. Thank you. She's also a blogger and um, reviews books on her blog and she will soon release a book of her own. Anyways, this one is from Orif Oriflame, sorry. It's called <clears throat> Happy Skin, again from, for normal to dry hands and it contains sesame oil and it says here that it moisturizes and softens. Now, let me compare these two. Uh, this one has a bit of a creamier consistency. This one has a bit of a liquidy consistency. Uh, they both get absorbed in the skin very fast. This one is a bit more faster than this. And they don't leave that uh, oily feel on, uh, on the hands. They're both very good. The only difference is that this one is not that thick in consistency compared to the Nivea one and means that sometimes you might need to apply more of this rather than uh, applying this one because I think the Nivea one offers a bit more hydration than this so with this you have to apply double but uh, this one really takes care of your hands. Not, not that I'm saying that they're not good or this one is not good I'm just making a bit of a personal comparison let's say in between these and this type of consistency in hand creams, it's not very unusual. This one is quite the same. This one is from Evelyn Cosmetics and it contains glycerin, goat's milk, vitamin E and yeah, it says that it intensely moisturizes, deeply moisturizes, regenerates, lightens pigmentation and strengthens nails. I really like this one and I pur purchased it a lot uh, last year, this year too, it's one of my favorites. And yes, it's kind of similar in consistency with this. It's creamy but it's a bit runny and watery. Of course it hydrates and does everything that it says, but I feel that you get a bit more care from Nivea. So. I have a feeling that I'll be using uh, a lot of this one, at least for this year, because the winter here seems to be lasting a lot. I don't know how it is with you in uh, other places of the world, but around here it's very cold. <sighs> and when I'm saying cold, I'm saying like minus 20 something degrees, sometimes minus 10, sometimes minus 8. It was and it is a very rough winter. So yes, this is why I think body care and also hand care is extremely important during this season. I usually do this during spring or whenever the seasons change because I do feel the need to take care of my hands. So this is why I'm trying to put this out there for you to not forget that also the hands are important, not just the face and uh, taking care of the face like using treatments or uh, specific creams for the face, also the hands and the body are important. Yeah. Anyways, I'll tell you a bit more once I'm done with telling you about all these, because I have only one left. 
This one is from PLR. I don't know if you have these um, specific brand, your local shops or I don't know because this is something that it's only around here in Romania. I don't know how it is in the rest of Europe. And yes, it's called Hamam Elhana and it's a argan therapy hand cream with Egyptian white musk and it does smell amazing. And also this is a bit different from all the other hand creams. Sorry, even, even my cat wants to smell it. She won't leave me alone. By the way, this is Smokey and she apparently is very persistent in being in my video. Yeah, it smells extremely, extremely good. And as I was saying, the difference between this one and the other ones. This one leaves a very oily feel after you're done using it. It's not over the top, something that might stop you from doing uh, the stuff that you're doing on a daily basis. It's not extremely slippery or anything, but it's just, you know, the feel of it, once it gets absorbed into the skin, it disappears. But it, it just how it is. And again, it's also extremely hydrating. I usually use this and I I have it with me in my bag all the time because in case during the day I forget to use one of the other ones, I will just apply this very fast and I know that I got checked for a few hours that my hands are well taken care of and hydrated. Also another tip that I have for you is the fact that when you apply hand cream, don't apply it just on your hands. Also apply it on the whole part of your hand and your elbows. Because usually uh, what I noticed is that people just apply it here, like, just like this. But also it's very important to take care of the whole hand to keep it uh, hydrated. And especially the elbow area because that's the area where, you know, like when you sit somewhere and you sit like this and the elbow is always uh, roughened and the skin here gets rough very fast and easily. So this is my advice. I don't know if you are already doing this or if you know this, but also when you apply cream, try to apply it on your whole hand. I'm not saying to go like around your shoulders or anything, but just don't forget the elbow area because it's extremely important. And also, uh, when you have extremely, when you have an extremely hydrating cream, like let's say this one or the Nivea one, what I do sometimes, and when I feel the need to hydrate my hands a lot, I apply the cream and I apply some gloves. I have a pair of white gloves which have a material that's like uh, not see-through, but it's uh, it allows the skin to breathe. So I apply the cream. I put on the gloves and then I go to sleep and in the morning my, my hands feel more softer, they're hydrated properly and I don't know, it's just a different feeling, you should try it. I'm, it's hard for me to describe but once you try it and you see it for yourself, it's uh, very nice. Also I don't know about you but I pay attention to my hands a lot because I wasn't born with the most beautiful pair of hands. I don't have feminine long fingers actually, my fingers are like quite squarish and not short but like medium and like thick, like very, let's not say manly but I don't know, it would be interesting to have an anthropology lesson maybe about this, like how hands uh, differ from a person to another because I'm pretty sure that my ancestors weren't the noble type or the people who would uh, be privileged. I'm pretty sure that they were the type of uh, field workers or like hunter-gatherer type of thing because of my hands and what I inherited is not the long feminine fingers, it's not a beautiful hand of a person who's uh, belonging in a royalty or in a, in a higher up circle, but the person who does handiwork all the time. And I think it's kind of true because also I'm a person who loves to work with the hands and I paint and I draw and I do like to create stuff with my hands in general. So I think it applies a lot 
I don't know, I'm just having a thought here. You can tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong down below or like, or how do you feel about your hands? Do you like the way your hands are? Do you not like them? Do you take care of them? How do you take care of them? If you have any tips for me, I would love to hear from you. And yes, this uh, is the whole video. Thank you for watching. Me and uh, Smokey are having a very relaxing time around here. She's a very cutie pie. I don't know if you can see her, she's like very pouty at the moment because I disturbed her sleep, but yeah. And uh, hope you liked the video, hope you liked my little rant. And uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You're going to see a lot of my pets. I have seven cats and two dogs. So yes, I'm pretty sure that they're going to appear a lot in the videos. And yes, maybe give me a thumbs up too. And maybe a share, why not? Uh, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!